Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Python tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a QR code generator application. All right, so here's the application we'll be uh, creating in this video. For the front end interface, which is the GUI, we'll be using PyQt5 framework. And for the QR code generation, we'll use the QR code library as well as the payload library to save your QR code as an image file. So let me just give a quick demo before we go into the uh, tutorial. From this application, we have an uh, input field, which allows us to type the text that we want to uh, embed it to our QR code. So if I type uh, YouTube, so youtube.com, if I click on generate QR code button, and within our application, that will generate a, a QR code icon uh, at the bottom. And we can also save the QR code as an image file, as well as the, the clear button to reset the, uh, the input field, as well as the clear button to reset the input field and the uh, QR code icon. So if I click on clear, and that will clear everything on this window. All right, so let me close this window, and we can start uh, building this application. And fortunately, uh, you don't need to write a lot of code to build this app. I think we can build the entire application uh, in less than 100 lines. So here, let me import my library first. I'll import the OS module, system module, uh, QR code module. And to save the QR code to your uh, local drive, I'll use the image QT module from the payloads library. And I'll type PIL dot image qt and from this module i want to import the image qt class so the image qt class is a, a payload class which supports a uh, pyqt5 image object and i'll show you how to use this class uh, later on and from the pyqt5 qt widgets module I'll import uh, Q application class, Q widgets, uh, Q label, Q line edit, uh, push button, and status bar, Q V box layout, and Q H box layout. From the Qt GUI module. I'll import QFun class, uh, QPixMap class, as well as the QImage class. And from the Qt Core module, I'll import the Qt class. So I have a code snippet to insert my uh, code template. And within my app demo class, I'm going to rename the, uh, the class name to uh, QR Code App. And I'll copy the class name and I'll replace the app demo uh, class name. And for the demo object, I'm just going to leave that as it is. So here I'm going to uh, set the window size to fixed size. And I'll set the size to 700 by 550. I found this uh, dimension to be ideal size to display the QR code. And next, I'm going to uh, set the window title. And let's call this window uh, QR code generator. And I'll create a method to uh, construct my widgets. And I'll name this method init UI. And I'll create my uh, fonts object first. And I'll set the font style to open since. And for the font size, let's set that to 16. Now I'm going to create my layout objects. We're going to have a main layout. And it's going to be a vertical box layout. And for the label and input field, we're going to name the layout as entry layout. And it's going to be a horizontal box layout. And for the buttons, let's name the uh, layout as button layout. 
and it's going to be horizontal layer as well. I also create a layout object to store my image. So I'll name this layout image layout. And it's going to be vertical box layout. And to push the image to the center of the uh, layer, I'm going to reference the image layer object. And I'm going to use the add stretch method to create uh, a little bit space on the top. All right, so the next thing I want to create is my label. For the label caption, let's type enter text followed by a colon. And I'll set the label font style with the uh, font object. Now we need to create the uh, input field. And I'll name this object text entry. It's equals to Q, uh, Q line edit class. And I'll set the uh, font style with the uh, font object. Now I want to add those two widgets to my uh, entry layout object. And here, let me do this. I'll set the layout first uh, with the main layout object. And below line 31, I'll add the layout to my main layout object. Now, let me launch the application to see what we have so far. Oh, so I forgot to activate my environment. All right, now let's try again. So here my window is empty and let's take a look. Oh, so here I forgot to call the init UI method. Now I got my label and my input field. So let me just type something to make sure the, the size fits. Right, so, so far so good. Now let's continue. Now we're going to create our buttons and we're going to have three buttons. One button to generate the QR code and one button to save the QR code as an image file. And the other button is to clear the fields. And we'll create the QR code generator button first. And I'll name this button, uh, button generate. This equals to Q push button, generate QR code. And for the next button, I'll name this button, button save image. Oops. For the caption, I'll type save QR, uh, QR image. And for the clear button, I'll type uh, clear. And here I want to add uh, all the buttons to my button layout option. The first button is going to be the uh, button generate. Next is the button save image and the clear button. I want to add the button layout to my main layout object. Now let me launch the window. I notice that my button caption text size is a little bit too small. So here let me go back to my, uh, my main block. And I'm going to set the uh, universal uh, CSS to the push button. So from the app instance, I can uh, use the set style sheets method. And to set the uh, push button CSS style. I'll set the button height to 50 pixel. And for the font size, let's set that to 30 pixel. And if I launch my window, and this is what the button caption looks like. If you feel the, the text size is a little too big, you can always go back to the CSS and adjust the uh, font size accordingly. I'm going to actually change that to uh, 28 pixel. I think that looks a little bit more clean. The next item on the agenda is uh, creating the QR code image. 
I'm going to use a label to display the QR code. And I'll name the label object as self.image label. It's equals to uh, QLabel class. And I'll set the image label alignment to center. So I'll use the set alignment method. And from the QD class, I can reference the align center value. And I'll add the uh, label to my image layout object. I also add the image layer object to the main layer object. And I also want to uh, insert a status bar to give me additional information uh, to the user. And I'll name this object uh, self.status bar is equals to Q status bar. And I'll add the status bar directly to the main layer object. Let me take a look and here have a typo. It should be uh, image label. Now we have complete our interface. So we have our input field and below this uh, blank area is where we're going to display the QR code. Now let's create our methods uh, to connect to each button. I'll start by creating the uh, clear field methods first. And I'll name this method uh, clear fields. And this method will clear the uh, input field as well as the image label. The next method is going to generate the QR code. And I'll name this method uh, create QR code. I want to grab the text from the entry field. And next I want to generate my uh, QR code object. So from the QR code library, I want to use the make method and provide the text that I want to display in my QR code. And to be able to display the QR code, I'm going to uh, use the, I'm going to create an image QT object. And I'll provide the text. And I'll name this object uh, QR. Now I can create my Q image object. So using the QPEX map class, I can uh, insert the form image method. And I'll insert the QR object. And I'll name this output uh, PEX. Now we can insert the image to our label object. So self dot image label dot set pix map. And we insert the pix object. And the last method is going to save the QR code as an image file. And I'll name this method save QR code. And to make things easy, I'm just going to use my current working directory as the uh, destination folder. And I'll name this uh, variable uh, current dir is equals to os.getcwd. And for the file name, I'm just going to use the uh, text from the input field. Here I'm going to insert a if condition. So I'm going to say that if uh, if file name is not uh, blank, then I want to export this image to my working directory. So from the image label object dot pixmap dot save, and I'll type os dot path dot join to join the uh, file path. I'm going to save the uh, file type as PNG file. I also want to give a status message. So from the status bar option, I'll use the show message uh, method to, to display the message. And I'm going to type image is safe at and I'll copy uh, this uh, file path and I'll type that format 
and I'll just paste the uh, file path. Now let's go back to the uh, init UI method. And since we have created all the methods, we just need to connect each method individually to each button. For the uh, button generate object, I'm going to connect the method to the click signal. I'll insert the create QR code method. For the uh, button save image object, dot click, dot connect. I'll insert the save QR code method. And for the uh, clear button, I'll insert the clear uh, clear fields method. And that's all the code we need to write to build this application. So if I look at the entire script, and we wrote 86 lines of code. Now let me save the script and launch the application. So here's my working directory. And if I type uh, youtube.com and click on generate QR code button. So here I have my first typo. And this will be an uh, image object, not, te not text. Now let me try again. So if I type youtube.com and generate the QR code, and I'll display the QR code. If I click on save QR image, and here's saying that the image is saved at uh, user j desktop tutorials qr code generate let me refresh the page i don't see the file let me double check oh so i said no why and here i made a mistake so yeah this should be a comma i need to insert a period uh, inside the extension name Let me try again. If I type youtube.com and generate the QR code and save the image. And where's my image? Let's take a look. So I'm going to pause here real quick. So I figured out the issue and the issue is uh, this should be concatenation should be so this should be file name concatenate with the uh, extension name so if i remove the comma and replace with a plus sign and that should fix everything now if i launch the application and let me delete the qr code image so if i type youtube.com i'll generate the qr code and save the image and I'll export the QR code as an image file. And the last thing I want to test is the clear button. If I click on the clear button, and that resets everything. And I noticed that I forgot to reset the status bar. So here, let me do that. All right, and that's it. So this is everything I want to cover in this tutorial. And I hope you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.